welcome to this unit on topology. Topology is rubber geometry. I don't have rubber but I have uh, some kind of play-doh here and you can uh, shape things. For a topologist when you deform an object it doesn't really change shape unless you make something like a gluing here. Now we have a, an object which is topologically different. It's kind of crazy that this Brazil is topologically the same than this pot. I want to introduce 10 exciting objects in topology. The first object is a well-known object, it's a sphere. We all are familiar with spheres and you can define spheres in arbitrary dimensions. This is a two-dimensional sphere. A three-dimensional sphere is especially exciting and I show you an animation. The second object I want to look at is the donut. Bagel, you eat it. The three-dimensional torus I want to illustrate you with my drone. So this space here, this three-dimensional space is our three-dimensional torus. And what happens is we identify this side of the room with this side of the room. We identify this side of the room with this and the top and the bottom. The next thing I want to address are polyhedra. So they are very exciting also in higher dimensions. In higher dimensions, very well known is the hypercube or tesseract. I bought that, that's uh, one, of the, one of the platonic solids which I will go to sh show you also with the graphic. So these are very, very exciting. Uh, oh, here's the icosahedron. We have also the icosahedron here. And also this is uh, uh, one of the higher, these are printed myself. You see, it's kind of not professional. Uh, the fourth uh, object I want to address are manifolds or more generally varieties and they are very exciting like uh, the Kalabi Yao which I will show uh, in a graphic. The next thing I want to look at is the Merbius, the Merbius strip advertisement also of low tech possibilities to play with this. I played with such things as a kid. This is kind of some, some Play-Doh type. Uh, it's actually not Play-Doh, it's kind of some, some kind of uh, clay which you can buy very cheaply and uh, then you can build things. <coughs> so for example, you can take this. <coughs> And uh, uh, what you did as a, as, a, as a tiny little kid, you play with this. Uh, this in Roman art already, Merbius strips are there and, and other artists like Escher has, has made it a theme. There's this famous picture of the aunt walking on a, on a Merbius strip. The next thing is also an icon, the, the Klein bottle. I have your printed version from some artist has done that. It's not printed by myself everywhere. This is a, a, a non-orientable surface. Kind of you can, you can, you can, <laughs> you can drink, you can drink out of it, but it doesn't have an outside and inside. And it's kind of also not realizable in space. You know, this is the classical Play-Doh. So I take here this Play-Doh out. <clears throat> we make a, a cylinder here. Now, if you put that cylinder and you glue it together like that, you get a you get a donut. That's number two. But what we do is we instead we 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 we, we cut through. We we, we we dig a hole here, cut through, and go inside <laughs> nicely. And uh, even even tiny tiny little kids can build a can build a, a Klein bottle with a little bit of more skill. <clears throat> the next thing is an exciting area, actually quite serious area of, of mathematics, also related to, to fractals. If you have a curve, a closed curve in the plane, it produces an inside and outside. Kind of an obvious thing if you look at the closed curve, but these curves can be crazy. You know, they can be, they can be, uh, they even have positive area and so that's a kind of an interesting thing. Also in higher dimensions, it's a very exciting thing. You take a sphere in another sphere. So here it has an inside and a, a two sphere in a three sphere has an has a inside and an outside. 
and so this Jordan theme is, uh, uh, is, is quite important. Now, uh, uh, the Antoine's necklace is also related with something we are going to look at later in this course, which is, which is fractals, objects or countersets, which are a kind of crazy topological spaces. So topology allows you to also study kind of quite, quite uh, crazy uh, objects. And, and actually they appear in nature, like if you look at, the, if you look at, the, uh, if you look at uh, objects which appear in the, in the sea, right? They are very, they can be very complicated and, and, and fractal uh, alike. We will look at this uh, later, I'm not talking too much about this, but what it is, it's kind of a, a, a nice thing that you now show you a picture of, a, of the Antoine's necklace, which is a, a contour set embedded in space in such a way that the complement is not simply connected. Now, simply connectedness is a very important notion, and it also is here in, a, in the sphere. It appears the sphere is the only simply connected, simply connected uh, uh, surface, a simply connected three manifold, which is uh, simply connected means that if you have a if you have a closed curve on that space, you can pull it together. You can pull it together to a point. So this space here, which we have, is simply connected. Uh, actually, no, it's not simply connected because I have these chairs here. So I have a, if I take a, a, a closed curve going through that uh, chair thing, I cannot pull that together to a, to a point. So this is a this is a quite an interesting in, interesting notion in topology this 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 notion of of simply connectedness. <clears throat> so so what we have for example this this Bresel is not simply connected because we can build a, a curve inside which you cannot pull together. You take this this curve you cannot pull it together. This is also the do the donut is also not simply connected. But the 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 ball the ball or something topologically equivalent to the ball, this is simply connected. You can pull together any closed curve in, in that object. You can pull it together to a point. So that's, uh, uh, that's this uh, uh, Antoine necklace. It's also a beautiful, beautiful object. The next object is very, very much studied still today also. In, uh, these are knots. So I built one also with this uh, Play-Doh type uh, clay. So it's a closed curve in, in space. And, the question is always, can you, can you actually make this knot, uh, uh, you know, can you unknot it without, without, without going, th cutting through? So I can, of course, make it trivial by cutting it, uncutting it, and then, and then, and then putting together. So this is the, this is the trivial, tr trivial knot. But you can build quite complicated knots, right? And uh, you can build quite complicated knots. Which uh, uh, and, 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 and and then the question is maybe maybe you can pull it together to a to a to a can you pull it together to the trivial knot or deform it to the trivial knot or not? So that's not so not so clear. That's another example the, of of figure eight knot. And finally, it's an object topological objects which I'm studying myself. It's networks. So if you have a network which is kind of just nodes and. Uh, connections between them. This is also called a graph. And they appear as triangulizations of manifolds. Like if you have a if you have a if you have a surface and you triangulate it or you make you you produce a mesh on it. So this is then produces a discrete a discrete version. So see you Monday in class for uh, the lecture. Uh, by the way <coughs> another interesting thing here these are topological changes which happen in this Java lamp which are uh, kind of interesting so the topology changes and it's one of the reasons why I love this it's kitsch right it's kind of considered it's it's considered bad taste to have such a, a Java lamp right because it was kind of hot in the 60s and it's so old-fashioned but it's beautiful how the topology of this uh, wax changes inside and that's that's as long as there is no example here now no, nothing changes in the topology these are two balls they actually oh, they are they are they are still connected actually now they are getting disconnected that's that was an interesting topological moment so now they come together also here now poof they merge together and so that's kind of an interesting thing that's topologically an interesting thing when you have two things which get separated suddenly get separated puff and that's one of the things which also in the uh, uh, is a proof that every, every 
every simply connected three manifold is a sphere that's a, a famous uh, was a famous open problem from Poincaré and was solved by Perelman and uh, Perelman had to understand essentially kind of such topological uh, 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 changes of the uh, when you when you when you apply a, a flow called the Ricci flow.